Cristiano Ronaldo has four Ballon d'Or trophies after being named the best player in the world. But why did he sell one of them? According to Marco, Ronaldo, 32, sold one of the glittering golden trophies for over $705,000 to raise money for charity Make-A-Wish in an auction. While others usually put their Ballon d'Or trophies on display at the clubs where they play or in their own trophy cabinets at home, this act from Ronaldo will help create memorable moments for children suffering from terminal illnesses. The Real Madrid and Portugal star sold the trophy, a replica of the original which goes back and forth between himself and Messi, to Israel's richest person, I don't know for. For the report, Jose Mourinho and Pep Guardiola also raised over $35,000 at the auction as one of the prizes was the chance to meet them both in person at an upcoming boxing match in Manchester. A lot is written and said about Ronaldo and other star names but what often goes unnoticed is the incredible amount of work top players and managers do for charities as they share their incredible wealth and time to try and help others. Follow at JPW underscore NBC Sports The 2017 U-17 World Cup provides American soccer fans even more intrigue than your average tournament due to the breadth of top attacking prospects on show. Watch live U-17 World Cup on Telemundo Deportes Each age group has a top scorer a playmaker, but this season is exceptional. Sure we saw Christian Pulisic in 2015 and Paul Ariola in 2011, but the 2017 U.S. roster is heavy on players who should dock professional score sheets for a long, long time and at a high level. The U.S. Open plays Friday at 10.25 a.m. E.T. vs. India. Full stream schedule here. Timothy Ware, forward, Paris Saint-Germain in UEFA Youth League play, Ware has four goals in six appearances. A hat-trick came against Ludogorets Razgrad. Dad George won Serie A with AC Milan, League 1-1, with PSG, and was thrice the African Footballer of the Year so, yeah, pedigree. Chris Durkin, midfielder, DC United playing time has come on and off for the Richmond kickers of the USL, but the centre mid has 990 league minutes this season and showed versatility by starting the league opener at left back. Ao Akinola, forward, Toronto FC The Canadian-born 17-year-old got a string of performances for TFC2 in the USL, bagging a brace against Harrisburg City in mid-July. Carlos C.J. Dos Santos, goalkeeper, Benfica The former Philadelphia Union Academy backstop is with Benfica's U19s and just turned 17 in August. Jalen Lindsay, defender, Sporting KC There are those who believe the physical centre-back is further along at this stage in his career than fellow SKC prospect Eric Palmer-Brown. HEs are made two appearances for Swap A Park Rangers in USL. Andrew Carlton, forward, Atlanta United The left winger is widely considered to be a star in MLS soon, and posted an assist for Atlanta in its Lamar Hunt US Open Cup loss to Miami FC. Josh Sargent, forward, Verda Bremen the lone member of the U.S. roster to have already featured, and starred, with four goals, in a U-20 World Cup, Sargent heads to Bundesliga side Verda Bremen soon after the tournament. See above for his match winner against Senegal. Follow at Nicolas Mendela Patrick Vieira's playing day's reputation as a field general already gives him a leg up on a lot of competition for managerial jobs, so it's no surprise that his success at New York City FC has moved his name even higher up the queue when a job becomes available. Vieira admitted that St. Etienne came calling this offseason before settling on former Watford and Maccabee Tel Aviv boss Oscar Garcia, but that the move was not at the right time for him. More three keys for USMNT versus Panama The ex-Arsenal midfielder said HES too busy enjoying his project at NYCFC, though he did admit that he'll be prepared for the next step once the right opportunity presents itself. From RMC I have gained a lot of experience during my two seasons in New York, said Vieira, who denied any contact with his former Arsenal club. I feel ready to face the challenges, have a group that allows me to flourish, I have no reason to go elsewhere. The 41-year-old has won 43% of his matches at NYCFC, neither a small feat in the league or at a club that had struggled to debut under Jason Kreis. He'll end up somewhere else sooner rather than later, and perhaps his ambitions could lead him elsewhere if his goals are achieved with NYCFC in this season's MLS Cup playoffs. Vieira has won league titles with Arsenal, Juventus, and Inter Milan as a player, and a managerial title in a league with relative parity would certainly shoot his star upward. Follow at Nicolas Mendela Rog and Davo, marvel of Pep Guardiola's masterclass in City's 10 win over Chelsea, beg Manchester United to stop hitting Premier League Pinata Crystal Palace, and look ahead to a seismic week for US soccer.
All of the MIB content, pods, videos and stories can be seen here, but to really stay in touch, follow, subscribe, click here, subscribe to the podcast OR to update your Apple podcast subscriptions, click here for the RSS feed, follow at Nicolas Mendeler, G-E-L-S-E-N-K-I-R-C-H-E-N, Germany App Schalke, teenager Weston McKenney will be sidelined for about two weeks because of a right thigh strain. The Bundesliga club says the 19-year-old American midfielder had an intensive scan on Wednesday because of problems in his hip flexor that flared up after Friday's game against Bayer Leverkusen. McKenney will miss the game at Hertha Berlin on October 14. Schalke says when he can return to training depends on the healing process. McKenney, who made his Bundesliga debut on the final day last season in May, had started the last three league games for Schalke.